Hello and welcome to the next episode of the crack -a pack series. Today we are opening up one of my personal favorite packs, Ravnica City of Guilds. Obviously, original Ravnica was one of, uh, I think, a lot of people's favorites up there with Innistrad. Uh, the flavor of it was fantastic. It was also when I started sort of coming back into Magic for the first time, so it was really exciting for me to get some of these original packs. Um, I believe in here the best card is Dark Confidant. Uh, I think Doubling Season is also quite good, and then of course any of the original Shocklands would be fantastic. There's really quite a lot uh, that would be really nice in here. Um, Glimpse the Unthinkable as well is also a really good card, albeit it was reprinted somewhat recently in Iconic Masters. So we'll see what we get though, hopefully something good. Our first common is Sadistic Augur Mage, Thundersong Trumpeteer, uh, Ord Run Commando. Golgari Rotworm, Tidewater Minion, Infectious Host, Rain of Embers, Stone Cedar uh, Herophant, I might be in imp uh, incorrectly pronouncing that, I apologize, uh, Brain Spoil, Shambling Shell, Transluminant, and then our first uncommon Vindictive Mob, Flamekin Zealot, Devouring Light, and our rare Necroplasm. So for 1 and 2 black, it is a 1-1 one, one ooze. At the beginning of the upkeep, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Necroplasm. At the end of your turn, destroy each creature with converted mana cost equal to the number of 1-1 one, one counters on Necroplasm, uh, which I believe includes itself, so it really is only good for a couple turns. But it also does have Dredge too, so it could go in the Dredge deck. Um, I don't think this is all that good. Uh, Ravnica was one of the kind of few sets where everything was a little bit backwards, where the common and uncommon slot just had such good cards that the rare slot really didn't have too much. Um, obviously, Dark Confidant's a heavy hitter and the Shocklands are great, but in terms of drafting, uh, the, the commons and uncommons were actually just really, really good. So the rare slot wasn't all that great, and I think this is sort of a testament to that. Um, that being said though, it's really exciting to open these packs. I love Ravnica, so I'm really happy to get one in this series. Uh, I believe this is the second or third, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to like or comment down below. Make sure to subscribe if you really enjoyed it, and that way you can get notifications for all of our videos that go up, including card spotlights and the podcast episodes, uh, of which go out every single week. This goes up three times a week, uh, so make sure to stay tuned for all those. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode.